Hello there once again. This is New York Stilo uh, with yet another video. This time, it's we're gonna be talking about the booster pump. But I had a fellow um, reefer from YouTube ask me if I could please just quickly walk through um, how to install this pump because. Um, this pump does not come with instructions. Uh, when I purchased it, it did not come with instructions. Um, he stated the same. It's very simple to install this pump. It is recommended that this pump is installed right before the RO membrane. Before I had this pump, the RO membrane was, was um, more towards the middle of the unit. And all I did was just slide it that way. Um, kept the connections the same but um, on my unit I've got the black tubing which goes into the first stage first stage is connected to the second stage by this little um, connector here second stage has an elbow that goes out through the back and before the pump was installed this elbow with the black tubing that comes out to the back would be connected to the TDS meter this one and directly into the RO unit from the back see here um, that's the elbow coming out the second um, into the TDS meter and the uh, black tubing comes out through the top and into the first um intake of the pump i don't know if you can see a little arrow here it's indicating that this is the in intake of the pump and then this little arrow is the output of the pump so of course um the output of the pump is that co connected directly into the RO membrane um the booster pump's recommendations is that uh you run it through a sediment filter at least before um, putting it um, right next to the RO membrane so that you can keep uh, large debris or particles out of the pump. But it's very simple. There's many ways for you to install this pump. You can actually put the pump up against the wall somewhere as long as it's actually being filtered by a sediment filter and even better a carbon filter than the pump and then the RO um, I will be making more videos when I decide that I'm going to buy a liquid level controller um, if I buy um, an electronic uh, solenoid I believe that's the name of it I will be making a video if I do that as well um, the pump comes with this transformer here the transformer brings um, this let's see if I can get this here the transformer brings this connector here and this connector the transformer goes into the the wall the outlet and this connector here goes into this pump here and it will allow you to um, this will turn on the pump automatically this particular pump when I bought it on um, bulkreefsupply.com came with the pressure switch I have not installed it yet this is the pressure switch this will um, shut off the pump automatically if the flow of water through the pump or through the entire unit um, is less than 40 psi so if you literally shut off the faucet and the pressure comes down on the pressure gauge the 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 um the pressure switch is going to shut off the pump but in order for me to be able to install that correctly, right now I'm running this pump manually. 
in order for me to do it um, with the pressure switch I have to get the liquid level controller and install some other stuff so um, once again New York Stilo any questions comments hit me up on YouTube I'll be more than glad to answer your questions I will be making more videos on my setup uh, I'm going to be making some videos on basically most of my equipment and what I've learned throughout the years this hobby is very addicting to me at least and I'm sure it is for all of you out there anyways so um, this is it until next time thank you for watching peace